the Alamo City Artillery will kick us off to begin the new era here from San Antonio, where it all began a little over 10 years ago, as here we go from San Antonio. And the Legion will get the return all the way past the 25-yard line. Good little bump off from Justice Blackwell, the return man. Third down now here for Vancouver. Power eye look out of the Legion. They'll hand off left side for Lee. He springs through one. He puts a man to the turf for the 30 and continues running with blockers down the sideline. Inside the 10, busted out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Good run from the rookie. Logan Lee in the backfield. Here in this power eye, will they go it to a pitch? Left side, Logan Lee out of one, but is wrapped up from behind by Bogey Barr. Chance to win with his first attempt of the season is up and good. The league's leading kicker in terms of makes and attempts last season is one for one to start this season. Yeah, but a, a, a good drive otherwise by Vancouver. Some really positive signs, both in their passing and rushing offense. Trying to put it to good use early. Second down, first passing attempt of the game for Fennec. He pumps once under pressure and is thrown to the turf. Our first sack here for Vancouver comes by the way of Cabrian Womack. Last season during the regular season, as we come now to third and long, Fennec. Going to have to heave it, rolls to his right, he's under pressure again, and he's brought down again! A two-yard sack this time by the Greek Nightmare, Achilles Papatonis! And now from the 45-yard line come Vancouver. Rollout pass for Christian Brown, loads over the middle, caught, and here comes Chris Curtis down inside the 30-yard line and dragged down by Mickey McGuire, first town legion. Now on inside the two-minute mark here in the first quarter. Legion from the 28-yard line. Alamo City send the blitz. One-handed snag over the middle. Inside the 10-yard line. Go Vancouver. To a power look. Pitch play near side. Logan Lee got it. Had to wait six seasons to get it done. His first game in the SFL, his first career SFL touchdown. We'll see if they snap it, they will. Blitz coming, Fennec middle, one-handed grab. Back-to-back -back spectacular receptions for Montana as that brings this quarter to a close. The artillery on the march, they're down by 10, 10-0. 10 With only one wide receiver out there, eight men in the box here for Vancouver to try and stop the run, but Jones will pick up the first and continue to move his legs, still going. Would not be brought down, though he was in heavy traffic. He'll gain about five. Off I now here from Alamo City. Roll out left for Ace, looking middle. It's caught by Montana as he's hit hard after the catch. First and goal, Alamo City. Tap spot, kick is up and it is good. It sails through the uprights. I formation here for Ace Fennec. He'll hand off to Jones again. Fourth time on the drive. Good little spin move from Jones. He drags a defender with him all the way up to the 43 yard line. First down, ACA. Gerald Judicessi has really been a stalwart in the middle of that Vancouver line for so many seasons. Unfortunately, hopefully we'll see him back. Brad Jones out of one, out of two, and a first down run for Brad Jones. It's a methodical drive for the artillery as Fennec will look to throw now. Has time, middle and caught. Inside the five they go, there's Montana. First time we've seen him this half, and it's first and goal. Five to go on the play clock. Here on first and goal, handoff up the middle. Brad Jones runs out of one tackle, gets out of another, and he is into the end zone! Touchdown, Alamo City! Deuce Fennec in the slot left-hand side. Do they go to him? Five-man rush. Ace has time, looking middle, caught. There's Montana fighting beyond the 20-yard line and rolling over. To the 17 yard line, they're back in the red zone. Welcome to the fourth quarter of game one of season 21. Brad Jones gets the call, fighting forward. It's a first and goal at the two. 
Brad Jones, who has been the best tailback in the ball game, gets the call left side and walks it in. And the artillery take the lead. And you can see the speed difference even between the fullbacks, Storm, and the rest of the linebackers. And here comes Jones again, is gonna finally be brought down by Zach Lay. And they just keep running over. High formation on second down. Pitch play, Brad Jones left side looking for a block from Storm. He gets it, he fights forward with Drew Hamilton. Roll out left for Ace Fennec. Juzy stays back to try and block one-handed nonchalant grab from Montana. And that'll put him into first and goal territory. Goal line versus goal line. Power v power here on third and inches. Fennec takes his time, hands off and Juicy, diving, touchdown! Vic and Juicy, and Alamo City take a two possession lead. First and 10, down by 14 from Alamo City's 41 yard line, heavy blitz coming, pass middle, caught by Brett Killian. First down inside the 30 yard line to the 39, back to the line in a hurry. Quick snap. Here from Brown, middle, got it, Mac Michaels to the five, and they're back to the line. Killian now in motion. 3.38 to go in the fourth quarter. Five-man rush, Brown looking near side, that is caught! Touchdown, Justice Blackwell! Brings it back to within a one-possession ball game. And they'll come back to the line, third and five. Three minutes to go, Brown will throw, looking middle, opens the receiver, caught! First down to the 25 yard line. McMichaels has been there all game long through the middle. Brown gonna look to throw again. Again looking McMichaels route. It is intercepted by Chamo. Honestly, oh. you, could, you could pick out a few stars out of this game, but to me, he's been one of the best and perhaps one of the most important because he's shut down the Vancouver rushing offense. Which has been their division since its inception a few seasons ago. There's the final kneel down from Ace Fennec. It'll be a seven point victory for Alamo City over Vancouver here in San Antonio. 24-17, your final score. Jacob Clear, let's start walking through this ball game. Before the injury, Brad Jones... I think Brad Jones has a case for player of the game. How about you, Park? Well, it can't be anyone but him. I mean, you could talk about Yaya Montana and defensively, Jay Mart as well. 